Well, now, there's two ways you can leave, Imperial. Cuffed down or feet first. Uh, no thanks. I'm walking away from this. You won't be so lucky. Feet first it is. The Warden Droids are no more. I hope the rioters took note. Then I have a powerful ally indeed. The Warden Droids were meant to be the equal of twenty prisoners. Still, we need more convicts on our side. Turn this mob into an army and the Republic will be permanently occupied. An army begins with generals. We must provide the prisoners with the leadership they require. There must be plenty of leadership material locked up here. Break them out and put them to work. Exactly. There's a carbonite storage facility in the intake yards, full of frozen convicts. Some were rebellion leaders, others simply murdered every guard they found. We need both persuasions. Sounds fast and easy. Leave their rescue to me. Excellent. I've taken measures to maximize the benefits of this operation. Prisoner, what of your mission into the Carbon Gallery? The Crisis Response Unit ambushed us. I got away. Only me. Excellent. Ruger took the bait. Now you can free the frozen prisoners and wipe out the Crisis Response Unit all at once. I'll head there immediately. Destroy the guards and defrost the prisoners. They'll turn this riot into an organized army. Then we'll have safe passage to extract the Dread Masters. Defrosting coming right up. Hi guys! Welcome back to Star Wars The Old Republic. Or welcome to my channel if this is your first time. My name is Vivi and we're going back to this first area again to defrost some thugs and criminals and yeah maybe we'll have a choice but I'm not holding my breath then again how would I know the difference just walk up to them and s say uh, hey you're welcome, I just told you. Are you a good criminal? A reasonable criminal? You go up to people and say, Hey, if I free you, if I get you out of here, will you not kill me, please? <laughs> and make sure you do away with the right people. Uh, make the right kind of Riot? Uh huh. Please? <laughs> I, um, I don't think this is a good idea. I, I, I know I was the one to suggest this, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah. Trusting people that are here for life. Because these are prisoners that have done something right it's like it's not like they've got a speeding ticket um, unless they yeah were traveling at light speed across coordinates oh, th that would be bad yeah yeah are we gonna be throwing the wall decoration I guess so. Ah, oh, okay. Let's deal with this one. So they have... What? This huge area for each uh, quad of criminals. Or whatever they are. They're supposed criminals. Hello. I don't get it. Isn't this a waste of space or something? Song of the I mean, begins. there could be hundreds in here. Are they scared? They're gonna break free. So that they're... limited in... in numbers? Yeah, well, they, they would be right. <laughs> well, 
Let's get this guy. I wonder one, just one tiny little thing. Why is there so few women with big guns? Hang on. I know. They um. <laughs> they have nothing to prove, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, we need to find a console somewhere and shoot a bit more of these prison uh, the prison population, I should say. Yeah. Where are all the guards though? Did they kill every one of them? They, they must have. So there's not enough power to throw them all out. For some reason, I, I don't think I'm going to be crying myself to sleep tonight. Right, we've got troublemakers. And murderers. Lovely. Well, nothing like a rebellion to shake things up. Hope you're proud. Your time on Bell Sabbath is up. I don't think so. I don't agree. This isn't a case of where we agree to disagree. Not while you're still on this planet. So let me make this perfectly clear. You've made a mistake. Time to pack up and fly home. Um, sure. I don't scare that easily. You'll learn. They all do. Ooh. Scary big guy. Yeah. There was only enough power to thaw the best prisoners. I freed the agitators. They'll give these prisoners a purpose. What those convicts lack in brutality, they make up for in wits. Mm -hmm. And they've already organized a large-scale riot. Ruger that will not be pleased. He called to threaten me. He seemed unafraid. Ruger's tamed prisons before, even restored order to Coruscant's depths. It's time we end his career. I agree. The only thing keeping us from his throat are the force fields guarding his base. Luckily, a mad Deveronian prisoner, Golan, has the key. He knows the key is valuable. Plus, he's trained in the force and highly violent. The Republic tried executing him four times. Just tell me where to go. He loves to talk. Golan roams near the resettlement camps, in the open areas where wise inmates leave him alone. Make your way there. The longer we delay, the more likely Ruger will change the lock frequency on the security fields. Hello. Oh, um, uh... <laughs> yeah. The star signs um, I'm no a bit worry. rude. I, I, I realize that. <laughs> So, I'll turn around just for you. Hey! Wow. That's what I get for being polite, I guess. Okay, we've got the key. Moving on. We've got to find a console. Why can he not just call me up? Uh, again. <laughs> Yeah, it, it totally, it doesn't make sense. Why, why do I have to see his face for, uh, hey, those are our people, for this to work? 
I don't get it. I mean, sure. Um, from the dev's point of view, hello. It makes sense, but it doesn't. From a gameplay point of view, with all the technology, hey, we're not losing the critters. They're still, they're still following us. I I'll leave the guards to deal with them. Can you do that? Good. Good. Finally, some useful droids. It's done. I have the key to the security fields. We must strike quickly, before word of Golan's death spreads. Mm -hmm. Ruger is finally vulnerable. If you're ready, we can end his campaign and secure this landing zone for good. Right. Tell me where this lawman is, and our problems are over. Ruger and his men are in a guard station. He believes it's more secure than the main intake building. Use the security key to drop their shields. My teams will cut off Ruger's backup. No one gets in, no one gets out. We'll give you time to work. Just make sure Ruger doesn't escape. Oh, I do look forward to finding him. I've been waiting to get my hands on Ellis Ruger. His men know what to do in battle. Any shock we cause will wear off quickly. This is his stronghold. Bring everything you have, and every ally you trust. We will get no second chance. I wonder... Shouldn't... Um... I think the walls... The ice walls should have been taller. This whole planet is encapsulated in... in caps... <laughs> is, is covered in ice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two ways you can leave, Imperial. Cuffed down or feet first. Uh, no thanks. I'm walking away from this. You won't be so lucky. Feet first it is. Really? Um... <laughs> so, we're not gonna talk about this? At all? Oh. Well... You're not putting a band-aid on that wound. Nope. You are not. Get him, Vector. Alright. Hold your gloating. Get it over with. I haven't even started yet. You're awfully eager to die. No, I'm just disinclined to make a show of it. Makes sense. Maybe. Ruger! Come in, Ellis Ruger. This is Warden Grawl. Wait. There's human wardens Taking too. Taking fire and can't reach your position. What's your status? Amazing. Hello. Wrong question, warden. Instead, ask yourself, what would you give to have him back? Is this a joke? Who's on this frequency? Wait, I've seen you on our cameras. What do you want? I I want to get rid of this this guy. I'll take a ransom, one big enough to be worth your friend here. Then he leaves Belsavis, forever. Fine. I'll arrange a drop-off. Listen to yourself, Warden! Don't give this scum the satisfaction! Ellis Ruger, you are relieved of duty on Balsavis. Report to me for debriefing and medical attention. I'll transmit the ransom to your base, but lay another finger on Ruger and I'll retract every credit. Now go. Enjoy your payoff while you can. Wait, why would I even believe... A human warden, huh? Then the second I turn around, he's gonna be back on the service with the next shuttle. We had half their numbers and still handed them their heads. I hear you spared, Ruger. At least you managed to squeeze a ransom out of the poor warden. He sent this payment to you with well wishes. Wow. 
Really? The warden wasn't particularly friendly when we parted ways. You ruined his prize lawman. Turned his prison into a circus. I'm surprised he didn't send you a grenade. Exactly, my thoughts. If you'll excuse me, duty calls. I must re-establish contact with Commander Callum. Lord Medishers. Come in, Lord Medishers. I am here, Commander Callum. What is your will? Ellis Ruger was blocking our signal. Your men re-established contact once he fell, but I've heard nothing from our other operations groups. Captain Van Dorn must be reached. Our mission is still in jeopardy. Relax. I don't know what you're worried about. The Dreadmasters will help us defeat the Republic. I'll stop worrying when they're free of Belsavis's chains. Oh, I'm sure you'll find Admitish something us. else to worry Secure about. Secure the landing zone. You, rendezvous with our lost operations group. Do not delay. Captain Van Dorn was last seen in the high security wing. Find his camp, but be wary. The Republic is conducting strange experiments with the inmates there. I... So... On we go. I, um... I wonder about... this planet. I mean... How... Is it so green in these small areas? Did the, the grass just lay in lay dormant for, or did, was it always volcanic activities here? Look at that. And again, I wouldn't be surprised if they were taller. Is all, Captain Van Dorn. Commander Callum sent me to assist. Operations Group 4 welcomes you, sir. I'm happy to report that our prisoner release program's going brilliantly. We've hit only one hiccup, really. The prisoners here, they're gangs of rabid aliens, formerly members of some Republic experiment. The gangs attack the Republic as planned, but they're also tormenting our boys. Now there's a large number of berserk aliens between us and the Dread Masters. What did you expect? Oh, poor thing. I have everything under control. Operations Group 4's clearing out the aliens and... Excuse me. Captain Van Dorn speaking. Dead? All of them? No, that's impossible. Well, stop blabbering and... Sergeant? Sergeant! The alien gangs have wiped out Operations Group 4. We've lost control of this yeah. wing. Freeing a bunch of murderers and you're surprised. People die every day. You're right. But my entire outfit, gone. I knew these aliens were brutal. That's why we released them. But they've crossed the line. Carve up their top gangs and make the aliens fear us. Then we'll be able to evacuate the Dreadmasters. Fine. I don't like it, but I'll do what I have to. Thank you. Gun for the Gamorians, Anomids, and Gand. They're the fiercest scum of the bunch. Kill enough members of each gang, and they'll learn to respect the Empire. Somehow, I doubt that. All right. Let's get to it. Um, wait a second. Oh, they're close. So, let's just go for a little jog. Yeah. And smell the fresh air and the breeze. I'm not even sure. <laughs> Is there wind down here? I don't, I don't see any. I don't think so, actually. Would make sense that the wind would blow on top of the ice instead. Oh, really? You're gonna be aggressive if I come try pet you? Okay. Well, I guess here's the first bunch, and we need the crates.
Wait, lurkers, huh? I'll, I'll have to check that out where lurkers comes from. Where I thought it was from Yavin 4. Wait, what happened to the river? Huh. So it's dried out, huh? Really? It's so cold that the ice won't melt at all? Interesting. I'm, I'm waiting. They, they've got a really nice camp though. I like this area. Yeah, and I love how I have to go... I can't be further away from the crates than 3 feet. Uh, because then I can't shoot for some reason. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes total sense. Total sense. Alright. Oh, there's people over there. Well, let's clean off some dirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they can't see me. Good night. Go get him. Hey, I just wasted a grenade. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah. I see, I have to be all right, four, five feet away. <laughs> so, let's get the last one and be done with it. I don't see it uh, thinning the population very much or making them worried. They don't look to be worried at all. They are just taking a stroll along the riverbank. Oh, impressive. Alright, we're done here. Now, let's continue with our own personal gang of thugs. Yeah. Hey, these are not aggressive, so... They don't... They look friendly, right? Yeah. I'm gonna be so stealthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's some medic and... Okay, I, I hate to do this, but... No, I don't. It's so much fun. <laughs> so much fun. Next. Well, it's no wonder Vector is keeping fit. Yeah. I remember really hating that when I had my companion just... Sh oh, yeah, even Vet. She she just killed them from afar before I had a chance to run up to them. <laughs> Turbo lift activated. Maybe. That'll be useful. Well, look who's alive after all. Wait, you're surprised? This here's quite a place. I got us to the turbo lift. Hey, they've got spikes. 
So she's a doer, not a talker. I like her. Adrenals, blaster packs. This is good. I'm going to get my cortical data split working again. Scorpio sanctions activated. I appreciate all of you gathering in one place. Your deaths will be artfully intertwined. Oh, really? This is the second time we've met. You still haven't introduced yourself. That is correct. These laboratories were designed for experiments in alien aggression. I have full access to the research and chemicals used. What is this? The SLV-88 aerosol was formulated to control the minds and heighten the aggressive instincts of anyone exposed. What? Enjoy this experience for the brief time it lasts. The Night Herald, it screams in our mind. What are you doing? 